Jayalalitha's death continues to haunt Sasikala. The Arumaga Swami Inquiry Commission report shared in the Tamil Nadu Assembly today says the two did not have a cordial relationship since 2012. The report presented to the Stalin government in August questions why doctors, despite expert recommendations, did not take Jayalalitha abroad for treatment. Jayalalitha had perforation in her heart and experts from Ames and Dr. Richard Beale from the UK had recommended an angiogram and treatment abroad. The report states that Jayalalitha's treatment remained exclusively in Sasikala's control along with the coterie of doctors and relatives. There is material and evidence to state that it is a collective decision of the doctors, all doctors, okay. and concurrence of the Ames Hospital, team of doctors, sent by the central government. In this stage, this is not proper. In a later stage, we can do this. Nowhere it has stated that Mrs. Sasigala has interfered in it. The commission also finds criminality against the then Chief Secretary, Dr. Ramamohan Rao and recommends an investigation against Sasikala, Jailalitha's personal physician Dr. Shivakumar, the then Health Secretary Dr. J. Radhakrishnan and Health Minister Vijay Bhaskar. The Commission rejected the Ames Medical Board's report and accuses Apollo Hospital's Chairman Dr. Pratap Reddy of giving false statements about Jailalitha's condition. The hospital is yet to respond. Some under the scanner call the Inquiry Commission report full of falsehood. The ruling DMK plans to consult legal experts for the next course of action. But politically, this could turn the heat on Sasikala and the present AIADMK leadership, including a few former ministers, for what the report calls lapses. However, the former judge says he will respond only after a few days. In Chennai with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Find the TV.